Hello everyone, I'm Duke James. This is Portugal. As of right now. My consort died. I think she was like a 654. And my heir is 8, and my ruler is 51. So I'm going to go ahead and do a strategic... No, marry a noble consort with the nobility. Fortunately, they gain a little bit of noble power. But I also get 50% progress towards stability, 10 relations. Tangier gets negative 3 unrest. They are a 345, some diplomatic reputation, and 10 noble loyalty. I just don't want to end up in a Regency Council if my ruler dies. I'll do that. She's 23, hopefully she doesn't die. The other one was like 15, so she must have been like 20 when she died. That's pretty unfortunate. Let's see, the... Okay, the stuff that I did with the nobility ends in 1377, so it takes a while for that to end. But they're at 91% loyalty. I want to do the thing that gets rid of the... Uh, gives an extra diplomat, because it's really annoying not to have a diplomat. It's annoying not to have three diplomats. But this costs 40 noble loyalty. That would bump down to 51%. It would remove 0.1 corruption per year. I'd be going six years with them at 50%, which isn't that horrible, but... The higher their loyalty is, the better... It is in terms of, uh, I believe, unrest and things like uh, how much money they pay you. So it's better to have that as high as possible. I suppose I'll just hold off for now. Maybe in three years, then I'll get rid of it. And then in three years, I can go ahead and do those uh, supports again. Telemson went ahead and attacked Al Jazeera. Tefalot is being consumed by Fezian separatists. And Fez is... They have these two provinces plus these two provinces, so they would be an easy target to attack. But I don't have a claim on them. I think I'll start building a spy network. I need these three provinces for a mission. Not a particularly... ...important mission. Because it gives settler chance and global increase. Global settler increase. Yeah, this whole chain right here is not that great. You get 10 prestige, some settlers, 10 prestige, 75 dip. Which, if I need settlers, if I'm, if I, yeah, if I need settlers, it's gonna be past the point where I'm really needing dip. So I'll already be colonizing at that point. Otherwise, if I wanted to get this, then I would pretty much waste that for the most part. And then 10 prestige, so you get 30 prestige, and then uh, 1,100 sailors, which is like, okay. I don't know if they mean sailors or naval materials, because sailors don't exist anymore, so I imagine they mean naval materials, which is not that great. And then 20 navy tradition. These missions for, for uh, major powers such as Portugal, these missions kind of are lackluster. So I have to do the English Alliance, because that is uh, 150 dip. They don't want to ally me, probably because I'm allied to their arch-rival France. And they're at their alliance limit. I love it when a plan comes together. So I've allied Seuss. I'm going to go ahead and attack Tafalot. They're at war with Tlemcen. They're also occupied by a lot of separatists. So I'll promise them territory, maybe give them something, maybe not. I'll see what the landscape is, how much they uh, actually help 
in this war. They're allied with Al Jazeera, who's currently occupied by Tlemcen and Tunis. Tunis is rivaled with Tlemcen, so I'm hoping that uh, Tlemcen doesn't allow Tunis to go through their territory. But we'll see. And then uh, Morocco owns cores. They have cores. They're not a country, so I'm going to go ahead and release them. Since they're not a country, I can't see all their cores. There's a lot of them, though. They own cores all over here, so... Releasing Morocco as a country, I can get those cores, then get those provinces for free. Go ahead and start to... Uh, Conquering them. They're also tech 5. I think all of these guys are tech 5. Well, okay, Tlemcen is now tech 6. Tunis is tech 5. Seuss is tech 5. Tafalat is tech 5. So I have 2 tech advantage over them. Actually, let's... Um, let's send these ships over here. Tunis can only grab these provinces. I say Tunis because I don't imagine these guys are going to really do much. I'm just going to loot them. Oh, there's uh, 7,000... 8,000 rebels there. Okay. I kind of don't want to fight those. Right, I just got mauled by some rebels. Let's uh, retreat out of their territory for now. And it looks like I have access through Tlemcen, so that means that uh, Tuna should have access through Tlemcen as well. Which is unfortunate. Actually, let's have... Uh, I almost prefer the uh, Susian troops to attach to me. There's some investment. I'll just skip that for now. That was unfortunate. I lost 3,000 men to rebels. Not the ideal start. Let's just move down here, next to Marrakesh, or Cision. I at least want one province from Tafilat so I can release Morocco. And then I have the spy network on Fez going as well, so that's good. Tunis has nine galleys, six transports. I'm just not even going to fight them. Yeah, my ruler died. But we don't have a regency council because we have this 345, so that was a, a good investment, even though the nobility get a little bit more power. Saves me from that. Go ahead and do a new alignment. I will align with the bureaucrats. Again, a judge. Give some national unrest and monthly autonomy change. A spy master. Spy network stuff. And a quartermaster. Manpower recovery speed. Recover army morale speed. You should come to think of that. I'm going to grab this Discipline guy in case I do a fight. I'm not going to bump him up, though. I'll get the Half Price guy once I want to do that. I'll bump him up. And then take... Uh, National Unrest is actually fine for now. Roll a general, a 3 1 3 2. Alright, not bad. I'm 
more rebels. Yeah, that's why the uh, stability guy is not bad, because we just lost the stability point. Okay, taking this province is good, because it... If Tlemcen pieces them out first, then they won't... Actually, they'll be able to grab this province. Tlemcen gonna grab stuff from them? They're taking a lot of stuff. Also, there's a... Tunisian army up there. Should take them a little bit of time to grab that province. And an extra merchant. Let's send him to. Let's see how much money I can get sending a merchant there. I don't think Tlemcen should take much from these guys. Okay, it looks like they're gonna attach, so I could fight Tunis then. Clemson's just gonna grab that stuff. And I get there before they take the fort. Hopefully. Okay, they're gonna run anyway. Do these guys want to attach? No, they just detached. Alright, that's fine. 14,000 versus 8,000. This is Shrub Highlands. We own that province, though, so... And we stack wipe them. Don't know what's down there. Yeah, they're taking both of those provinces. I can take that one province right there. Oh, okay, they pieced them out. Perfect. They didn't take any territory. And I just hit the mic. And now they want to attach to me. Alright, you go there. Take off two troops for that. Does Tunis want to piece out? No. Alright, I'll just focus on taking out... Um, taking these provinces. They have fort defense ideas? No, they have leadership quantity ideas. All right. France is requesting we come to their aid in the French conquest of Brittany. Sure. Can't say I'm going to do much for them. much manpower because of that blunder. <laughs> uh, 
I can take like these three provinces. That's 17 development right there. 8 development and 4 development. That's actually a decent amount of development. Yeah, that'd be a pretty decent sized coalition. I guess those two provinces. Thing is, I don't want uh, Tlemcen to take their provinces. They have a siege guy on there, so I'm gonna take this troop off. Why did I just get a bunch of manpower? Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Okay. What just happened? Not this. This is just me tag switching on another save, because I tried to delete troops to get a thumbnail, but then I just didn't do that. Yeah, so they just, I don't know, they gave me manpower. I gotta have to check the tape. Looks like uh, January 1st, they just gave me f up to 4,000 manpower. Looks like my manpower has decreased to 10,000, so I have less manpower. But then they gave me 4,000? Maybe... Maybe my manpower dropped 4,000. So it refunded me 4,000? Something like that? The only thing I can think of. I like the census. Census is... normal. Nothing really different there. Let's move these troops over here. Alright, so I want those two provinces. Seuss wants Marrakesh. Yeah, I'll just give them that province for now. That's fine. Berber military strength, they hold Orzazat. Alright, so if they hold their capital, that counts as negative five. They're apparently making gains somehow. I'd send my navy to blockade Tunis, but I don't think my ships would uh, win that since they have nine nine galleys over there. Doesn't look like they're uh, moving those ships. They really want to stay in that uh, inland sea. I collect 0.66 ducats in the Tyrrhenian, so I'll keep that merchant there. Once that uh, ends, if I don't redo that merchant thing, then I'll move it to the Barbary Coast. I don't believe I'm actually trading with the Tyrrhenian Sea, because I don't own a Mediterranean province. Or, I don't own any province that trades with that, so I don't think there's actually any trading going on, but I do collect more than half a ducat, so... I'll keep it for now. Move this troop over here. Looks like they're just going to try to walk away.
That is hills. Now they're gonna come over here. They're gonna get there December 10th, December 14th. Alright, I'll cut off this troop. Take this, combine the troops, take out this stack. See if it gives me more manpower. Probably not. I think it's because the uh, maximum manpower decreased. That's my assumption. Now it just gave me manpower. I don't know why it's giving me free manpower. That is, um, weird, to say the least. It's, it's immigrants. People are immigrating, I guess. Or I'm stealing people from these guys. Alright, I imagine if I go up here to fight these guys, these guys are going to reinforce. This siege isn't done, though. But these aren't even my troops. I think I should take out those troops faster than these guys can get there. I'm going there. All right, yeah. Let's go up here. All right, they would accept that. Give me war reps. You're not gonna accept war reps. Almost accept war reps. Fort level 1 down there, 56% fort defense. Let's go ahead and go over here. Actually, let's just take out these troops. I will pincer them. Actually, let's send his troops first. Alright, who's going where? 17th of April, 21st. Alright, yeah, and then I'll reinforce with my troops. If I have to, which I didn't have to, okay. They're both tech 5, so I'm not sure why these guys are uh, stack wiping them. Maybe they're... Uh, different units. I don't think any of Tunis's provinces, these are decent provinces, I'm probably not worthwhile to loot. You know what? Maybe. I'm here. Might as well capture all of their provinces. They'll give me a bunch of ducats. Okay, I'm pressing shift down to get rid of this. It thinks I'm pressing shift up. That's weird. And if you're asking if this mod, when is this mod coming out? Well, you know. Yeah, just, yeah, look at that. 
a lot of moving parts. Alright, let's uh, destroy Tunis's ships if they want to bring them out here. Actually lost. Alright. Kind of amazing. Are they still okay with that? Yeah, okay, they're still okay with just getting Marrakesh. You guys want to grab that. I think as long as they have troops hanging around, though. Because they're apparently sending troops down here. So I assume they own provinces down there. If I leave this area, they'll just siege down these provinces again. I'll probably just siege down this guy's provinces and then piece them out. Let's see, in terms of building... Yeah, that actually went down. Commercialization went down. Okay, amenities is almost built there. Amenities has been built here. This has been building a harborage for the entire game. Just gonna go ahead and ignore that. So there are... 3,852 residents. They're still dying. Eight residents are dying. Below it's urban housing. Their life, comfort, and luxury needs are 129 or 77%, 12%, and 3.3%. So they are not getting their needs met really at all. That's why they're dying. There's textile and ship industry here. Let's go ahead and... That's weird. For some reason, this uh, select button is on the bottom half when every other province, it's on the top. Yeah, that's weird. Not sure why I was doing that anyway. Um, I want to... Oh yeah, okay, I was going to open stuff. That was so weird, it just distracted me. I'm going to open up houseware and process materials slots. And then invest 10 ducats into industrial there. I'll put some 10 ducats into industrial there as well. That's going to be built. There's an irrigation rank 1 here. I need food, so... Farmland size is 173. Oh, they should make a decent amount of food in this province. About 36 units of crops. So I'm going to build irrigation anywhere. Building it in the capital would be good, except it costs 400 ducats. I know building irrigation in a province like this up here, they produce 26 crops. I think this is 200 ducats. Now that's 300 ducats. Alright, maybe I'll just build it in the capital then. I'll look around, do some more uh, checking out provinces, see the best one to build that irrigation in. Alright, they went ahead and grabbed that. I'm not going to give that to them. I 
don't think there's really anything in this province worth looting, but uh, it'll increase their war score. My war score. I'm investing. Looks like a lot of extraction into that province. 21 ducats of agricultural investment into Bira Alta. A little bit of academic in that province. Some extraction there. Seven ducat agriculture investments in Minho. And fishery investment as well. And that would have been, what, 10%? So I think we were at like 560, so that did 60-ish ducats. Once these guys get over here, I'll move these troops off, save my manpower. Is it going to give me more manpower again? These alphas are definitely... they're stable, but they're... Got some bugs, they got some things to work out. Yeah, it just gave me more manpower. It's gotta be taking that from my people, right? That has to be an actual thing. Didn't do it at the start, though, so that makes me think that it's not. Not supposed to happen. So it looks like France is losing. France, how are you losing? Looks like most of it is just because they haven't taken these provinces yet. Which they should eventually do that. Alright, everybody just wants to attack me over here. You guys gotta relax. Grab that claim over there. So two cores I could grab from Fez that are Moroccan cores. Once this war is done. They still haven't relaxed. And apparently we have a... Uh, Unlimited manpower? This has got to be coming out of our population, so... Yeah, let's grab this stuff. Don't think I was rivaled with these guys. They're going to give me war reps. 164 ducats. I get half of that. And uh, transfer trade power. I feel like having them break their alliance with Tunis is just going to make them easier to be conquered by Tlemcen. Which is probably going to happen anyway, but... I'll leave that alone for now. I could actually have them seed stuff to Fez. That would cost dip, though. Yeah, I don't want to spend dip, because that's, um... I need that. Start colonizing. Zeus actually does not like that. If I give you that... Trust would be reduced by nine. Alright, how about I give you this big old province down here?
Okay, so when it's max, you just press it. And that drops it. Yeah, they... Re okay, that would reduce trust by one. That's fine. And then 91 ducats. No. Nope. 45 ducats? Sure. That gives me less, uh... Inflation, so I'll take it. Yeah, that's good. All right, I think this is a good point to uh, stop this part, so I will uh, pick it up in the next part. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.